and the angle is to the top of the beam again. You want to be sure and get your screw in the in that pilot hole that's in there too. If you just put that screw in there and run it down in there, you can crack this block if you don't use that pilot hole. I know there's a lot of screws that go in this this particular part right here. And it's one of the hardest parts of the table to you know to do. But Legacy is very aware of that and they pay a lot of attention to the mechanics that put these tables together. And I would expect to see an improvement here real soon. Notice how the blocks are on opposite sides of the beam. They're at a diagonal from each other. This is how it should look once you get the beams ready to go in the table. Now we want to check the square of the cabinet before we put the beams in to be sure that the cabinet is good and square. Now we'll start putting our beams in. These beams should fit snug where you can tap them in with a, with a rubber mallet, but not so tight that they, when you tap them in it bows the cabinet. We will be sure this is flush right here because all around the top, this is where your slate is going to sit. And if it's not flush, it'll make it difficult when you put your slate on to flatten your slate seams. So we're checking here to make sure the beams are flush. Now we're going to put the cross support beams in. This is why you want to make sure that that block is flush with the notch on the beam. If it's not flush, it could be difficult to get this part in right here. And we want it tight, but not so tight as to bow the cabinet out again. Checking it flush in the middle. We'll check the square of the cabinet. Be sure that both of you, both you and your helper are on the same page here all the time that you always measure from the same spot. That's why I always make it a point to measure from the end panel of the table. Table should be relatively square here. It should, be, of course, we like to have it perfect, but within reason, within a quarter of an inch or so of each other, it should be square. Now we've got to put the rest of the screws in the block. Here we know also that it's easy not to put all these screws in, but we need to get all these screws in there because this really makes this table strong. And again, you know, Jerry is very aware, aware of how much of a problem this is. And again, I would expect to see an improvement coming here real soon. You want to be sure and get that screw in that pilot hole here, too. You don't want to split this block at the last minute and have to take it apart. Now watch when this beam pulls up tight. This is why we want to put all these screws in here. See how tight that pulls that beam up? This is what gives the table a lot of its stability here, and that's why we want you to get all these screws in. Now we're going to put our leveling braces on the table. These braces are on there so we can use wedges under the slate. Gives us a good strong support for our wedges to go in. So we can move our slate around as we need to when we start flattening the slate surface. These holes are pre-drilled. The nut is inserted into the leveling brace. So it's a machine bolt. You want to be sure that this leveling brace is flat and flush with the top of the table. Our cabinet is now complete. At this time, when you're working in the shop, the cabinet can be set aside, you know, for loading the truck and going to the customer's home. Here's one of our legs. You'll notice a plug has been cut in the leg, a T-nut has been inserted down in the leg, and the plug epoxied back in. This allows us to put a machine bolt in the leg instead of a wood lag. Now we're going to put the legs on the table. First you put the leg plate on, then set the leg on top of the leg plate, and be sure and put your nut and washer on the bottom. We're just going to get these good snug so when we turn the table over, then we can align the leg the way we want it. 
It's not particularly important that this be perfectly straight now. I like to align it after I turn the cabinet over so I can see the top of the leg plate and be sure that they're certain that they're all looking just alike and uniform on the top side of the table right here. You'll see where we align the top plate and the leg. I like for one person to do this right here in the team so you have a good uniform look on the table. You notice how I just use my fingers to kind of measure this plate around here. Make sure they're all equal. You want to be sure and align this leg with the corner of the cabinet. This, the leg to be centered up with the corner of the cabinet here. Now we have our legs all positioned where we want them lined up. It's time to tighten the legs. We'll be sure these legs are real tight here. We don't want any wiggle in the cabinet when we get it set up. After your legs are all tight, now we're ready to position the table in the customer's room.